Hey everybody, Dano here from Everyday's Turkey Day. And now for this video, I got a piece for you about three websites um, for fans of underground hip hop so you can find new artists, new songs, keep up to date, shit like that. And now uh, I'll be dropping a little bit more than three, but all these are, you know, kind of uh, in different veins per se. So first up, we have a website that I've been going to for a long time now, um, and it's 2dopeboys.com. Two, like the number, dope, and then boys with a Z, dot com. And what I really like about this is that, you know, they have mainstream artists as well as underground artists, uh, both sharing space on the site. Um, the underground hip-hop on the site, though, is more of the kind of grimy, uh, lyrical kind. I mean, not all of it's grimy, but, you know, it's definitely more of the lyrical kind as opposed to the SoundCloud underground rap scene, which I'll be getting into here in uh, just a moment. But... Another reason why I really like this site is that um, they have writers on staff so you know you can read different think pieces about different things going on in the hip hop community you know at different times. Uh, they do polls so you can you know vote for you know like a verse of the month and then they'll do a write up about it. Um, they compile tracks from you know mainstream artists and underground artists and you know kind of put them all together pretty much whatever just catches their ears and it's a really great site and uh, two other sites that are kind of in the same vein as uh, two dope boys is uh, nahright.com n-a-h-right.com as well as onsmash.com and both of those sites are pretty good but my uh, choice personally over those two I like two doughboys.com but all three sites are pretty good so now moving on we got uh, crackedadams.com so first I mentioned two dope boys which is you know more the lyrical side well not saying that SoundCloud rappers aren't lyrical some of them but you know two dope boys more so the professional I guess you could call it underground side whereas cracked Adam plays a lot of you know the SoundCloud underground I guess you could say and you know I've been going to this site for a little while now and I think it's a really good site um, they put up a lot of artists that I haven't heard about and you know they put me on to a lot of good artists so appreciate them for that and they also themselves uh, conduct interviews with you know a lot of underground rappers most of which you're probably fans of I would assume like they got a, a Bones interview Space Ghost Perp um, I think they got Magnet on there you know a whole bunch of different dudes and uh, they also have a segment or uh, a post if you will called uh, takeovers where if they don't do an interview with a person they'll get them on to pretty much put a playlist of you know some of the artists favorite songs or maybe just the songs they're feeling at the moment so I think that's pretty cool and then so another website um, similar to Cracked Adams or at least that puts out similar artists is uh, Internet Hippie um, and to get to that website is Internet Hippie um, how you think it's spelled uh, but internet hippie dot tumblr t-u-m-b-l-r you know it's just tumblr and then dot com so internet uh, hippie's cool too cause he um, at least I think it's a dude I'm not sure but I just say they conduct interviews as well so that's pretty cool and lastly um, we got no jumper which if you know you know cracked Adams and internet hippie at all you probably know No Jumper. It's probably the biggest platform right now, I'd say, for underground rap, as well as, you know, mainstream rap has been on there too, but a lot of SoundCloud rappers have really popped from interviews on No Jumper. So definitely check out No Jumper. You know, it's pretty much um, podcast, uh, does interviews, you know, uh, got a big YouTube channel. They put out um, music videos on there too, as well. He does a lot of blogs. Uh, in my personal opinion, I'm not a huge fan of the blogs. I think, you know, a lot of them are kind of meh, but, you know, I, I won't get into that. But regardless, the interviews, a lot of times, very entertaining, very informative. Um, you can see a lot of artists before they blow up, get put onto a lot of new artists. And, you know, the conversations a lot of time are pretty interesting. So I'd say check out that. And then also some, you know, that kind of reminds me of No Jumper as well is uh, something called Ham on Everything which too is, you know, in, you know, a lot of interviews, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and they also do live interviews, so uh, you can call in and possibly talk to one of these artists, but they do same similar kind of SoundCloud rappers like Goth Money, Goth Boy Click, uh, shit like that, you know, underground shit, and then uh, they also throw a lot of shows, um, and it's out in LA, so they kind of have something similar to No Jumper, but they still got their own kind of shit going on. 
So yeah, those are, you know, more than three, but pretty much a whole bunch of different um, spots, websites, I don't know, whatever the fuck you want to call it, where you can check out um, new underground music. So I say give them all a chance, check them out, see which ones you like, see which ones you don't like. Oh, and also, um, if I didn't really say, but if you didn't know, the No Jumper and Ham on Everything, you can just find them on YouTube. So that's pretty much it for this, uh, I don't know, segment, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, have a good day. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't know. Do what you do. Peace.